we doing with it? The Missouri offense is led by assistant head coach David Yost, entering his fourth year as Mizzou's offensive coordinator. You either get better or you get worse. You get better or worse every day. Never stay the same. Never stay the same. You get better or you get worse. With the look of a California surfer, the Ohio born and bred football purist prefers substance over style. Quarterbacks, drop it in! Drop it in! Even if a little style is required in today's college football. Make him catch it. <laughs> Ooh. It's, uh, it started off as a little bit of a, you want to stand out in the recruiting game. So I said, well, I just kind of let my hair grow out, and then that kind of became my calling card in the whole thing. Now, I always wear glasses. I just I always have. It keeps, I don't like squinting. I don't want to have line, all that stuff. But uh, so I always have glasses on. So it's kind of become a little bit of a calling card in that way. And I think it, I, I mean, I try to be a little bit more fun and laid back, but also there's, a, there's an intense side and there's a, a focus side. But And I think my guys know when, the differences are. Go left, Y auto. Get out and throw the bubble. Deep purple. You had hippo and we switched it to gray. Hey, one, two, three. Read the underneath to the top. Okay, Rhino Bear, they went the three backer. What are you calling? Go on a cast, go on a cast. If it sounds like Yost and his quarterback speak something other than English, it's because they do. The Tigers run a multi-layered spread offense and communicate in a code that only they know. Entering his second season as the starting quarterback, junior James Franklin is fluent. He and Yost have refined their communication to near perfection. More air, more air, more air, more air. They will adjust to it. I know that he's being respectful of me, and I, try, I always try my best to be respectful of him. So I think our relationship has grown. We've understood, under, come to understand each other a lot better than what I thought we could. It wasn't just one conversation, it was a couple, because uh, I'm kind of, I'd feel bad, I mean, if I said something, even in private to somebody, uh, not necessarily mean, but just didn't come off as the nicest way. I'd feel so bad about it. He kind of knew that after a couple games. And he knew I wanted to say something, so he kind of said it for me, and then I would just agree. And then from there, I kind of, I was more vocal and said more how I felt so he let it made it a lot easier for me to actually say um, what I was feeling and what I wanted from what he was coaching. It's easy all you gotta do is catch set and do what you do all the time. Franklin is coming off of surgery last spring and fall camp is the first test for his recently repaired shoulder. How's it feeling? Better or same? Thank you. So far he feels good but that's something Yost checks on often. And then it's a matter of watching the numbers of throws. And, and I know his competitive side, he's not going to want to take any throws off in 11-on-11 uh, 11 11 or in 7-on-7 7 7 or in 1-on-1. One one. So what we do is we uh, try to use those economically. And then maybe during our individual periods, he's maybe getting a, a third or getting a half or getting three quarters, depending on how he feels that day. And each period is a little bit different. He kind of knows it, and I've given him a little freedom to uh, kind of, OK, if you want to hop out of rotation, you can. Focus! With a watchful eye on his shoulder, Franklin goes through the full complement of the Tiger playbook. There is no waiting pool for Missouri quarterbacks. Yost prefers instead to toss his young protégés into the deep end, something freshman Matty Mock is experiencing. Hey, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah. Sit down and pitch it. Take charge. Dog to the tent. Just days into his college career, Mock, the decorated high school record setter from Yost's home state of Ohio, is digesting almost the entire offensive scheme. Every rep counts. It's a process Yost has perfected over the years. I throw a lot at him. What I did, and we used to used to try to spoon feed the young guys. And what I thought it did was, I thought it stunted their growth because I, I probably, did it too safely. So then I kind of went to the other end where, guess what? I, we're throwing them off a cliff and everything. He's going to do it all and everything, and he's going to make some mistakes. But what I find is the guys, the guys I normally are dealing with in my room, like the Matty Mox, the James Franklins, going back to Blaine and Chase and all those guys, they're very highly competitive. And they really don't like not looking good in that meeting room when we're going through stuff. They don't like not knowing what's going on. So what it does is it kind of raises the bar on them, and it's a challenge for them. And they normally compete in that way, too. We'll keep working on it. We'll get it. Film study is any quarterback's best friend. And Mizzou QBs get plenty of it, meeting at least twice a day during fall camp to go over the latest tape. What are they doing? Uh, that's uh, three again. No. Nope. No, man. Because what you want to make sure is you let the guard get a heady enough that you can use his block. Confident and ready to lead, James Franklin is preparing to be the next in a long line of successful Mizzou quarterbacks. He sets the tone for his teammates, insisting on wearing his shoulder pads during post-practice conditioning, even though it's not required. 
My biggest thing is always lead by example. That's kind of what I brought here. Now I just need to be more vocal. And I think that's one of the ways I can lead by example is to you know, keep the shoulder pads on and go out there and just to work hard. And my teammates see and hopefully react to it. He's going to keep a little more weight on his back and just trying to show his teammates that, hey, I, I've got you. I, I'm going to carry him. And you can count on me to, to work hard. Here we go, man. We get better or we get worse. We got to keep getting better. What do we got, Baggett? Tigers on three. One, two, three. Tigers. Tigers. Light them up on three. One, two, three. Light, Light them up. up.